the world changed because of COVID-19. In Japan, there is a scale that represents Japan's corona circumstances. It is divided into four stages and six categories. We focus on the bed occupancy rate, and this bed occupancy rate, if it is 50% over, it is said to be stage four, and which is the heaviest. Now, the right now, eight prefectures meet this number. It is a problem that the beds in the hospital are occupied. Some people might say increasing the numbers of the bed might solve the problem, but it won't, like this chart. Even though if they increase the numbers of the bed, it won't increase the do numbers of doctors or the nurses. So the, if they increase the number of the bed, the nurses and the doctors have to work more harder. What is more, the nurses or doctors who takes care of the patient who have corona has to clean their room or throw out their trash. Of course, they have to watch their conditions. Why this happens? Other people can't go inside the room of the patient because to prevent the corona. Moreover, in Tokyo, the beds for the patient who have the serious symptoms are occupied over 99.6%. Now, as we mentioned before, the beds are close to full and nurses are working very hard. If they were not here, the COVID situation would have, would have been worse. And so now we'd like to express our appreciation to doctors and um, nurses. Thanks to all doctors, nurses, and all medical workers who live in risk to help others. We are the real heroes. Thank you for working so hard. We appreciate it. And please don't forget to stay healthy. I would love to appreciate all the contribution you guys made to prevent an uh, <coughs> epidemic of COVID-19 and hope you guys are going to keep doing well. I really do appreciate your guys' works. Um, I really want you all to keep doing what you're doing and you know we all need you and you are real life superheroes. Thank you. Thank you to all the health workers working at the Helper Health Institution. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work, healthcare workers. Thank you for the healthcare workers. If it were not for you, we wouldn't be here. Thank you. Thanks for your efforts. Thank you for all the medical workers for your hard work to keep us safe. What we have to do is try as hard as we can to not be infected with the coronavirus. So we should do what we can and take measures against the infection. For example, wearing a mask, washing your hands, taking social distance, and often ventilating the room. Again, thank you very much.